Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome to Jerem Central on our XYC episode where we will see Christ in all our wise. Tonight, we will be discussing a topic that all of us can give our own view regarding this question. Is Christian life easy or hard? If you are to answer this question, where are you leaning on? Is Christian life easy or is Christian life hard? Or is Christian life easy and at the same time hard? Please let us know your thoughts and comments below on the comments section. We want also to learn from you. For tonight's episode, we will explore these two verses in the book of Matthew that is seemingly contradicting. Looking at these passages at first glance appear to be contradictory, but further investigation will show that this is not the case, but rather they are complementary. Two statements may differ from each other without being contradictory. We need to learn to see the distinction between contradiction and difference. So tonight we will be joined by these two energetic pastors Pastor Kaloy Loyola, our associate pastor from Jerem Metropolis Vancouver campus, and Pastor Gilbert Macades, our associate pastor from Jerem Paranaque and Montinlupa campus. Hello, Pastor Kaloy and Pastor Gilbert. Welcome to our episode of XYC at Jerem Central. Please greet our viewers. Oh, good evening. Brothers and sisters, uh, good evening, uh, Pastor Ami, good evening, uh, Pastor Gilbert, and good evening to each and every one of you. Uh, mm -hmm. Magandang uh, umaga dyan sa Pilipinas, habang yeah. maggabi naman sa amin dito sa, sa Canada. Ano? And uh, ano, kumusta na kayo? Ano, mga, kwan, ano? I hope that you will be enjoying our... Enjoying our uh, uh, episode for tonight, although yung iba sa inyo ay nakaupo na dyan at uh, sumisip-sip ng kape or whatever, yung iba naman naghihiwa pa rin yata ng, uh, ng sitaw at sa kakarte. <laughs> Anong bang ginagawa niyo dyan? Sa dali niya, pasilip nga dyan. Ayan. <laughs> and, uh, uh, kwan, ano? uh, good evening talaga sa inyo and uh, I hope na you will be, uh, you will be learning from us tonight. And we also wish to learn from you. So comment down on the comment section below. Ano? Huwag lang ninyong mapagkamalan yung inyong uh, computer na kung ano, baka mahiwa yung, yung, ng kutsilyo yan. Yung mga... <laughs> uh, good evening, good evening. Yan. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Kaloy. Pastor Gilbert? Yan. Blessed day po, Pastora Ami. Blessed day po, Pastor Kaloy. Isang pinagpalang araw po sa bawat isa. Magandang gabi dyan po sa Canada at magandang umaga naman po dito sa Pilipinas. And it is my privilege again na makasama po dito sa isa na namang XYC episode. And I pray po na ito pong pag-aaralan po natin, ito pong discussion po natin tonight will help us strengthen our faith at patuloy na lumago po ang atin pong pananampalataya sa pagkilala sa atin pong Panginoong Heso Kristo. At tunay mm. nga na patuloy na maging masigasig po tayong pag-aralan ang salita ng Diyos. Amen. Magandang umaga po ulit at magandang gabi sa bawat isa. Praise God! Thank you pastors for your time and effort to be with me tonight. And I hope that you are already excited for our exchange of ideas and insights regarding our topic for tonight. I'm so much eager to hear from both of you of your insights mm. regarding this topic. So to the viewers as well, I'm sure you are all so excited as I am. Tonight, we will be looking into the book of Matthew 7, 14 and Matthew eleven twenty eight 28, mm. or eleven thirty. I'm sorry. And let us compare these two verses. How are they connected each other? These verses are the words of Jesus Christ. In Matthew 7, 14, it says, For the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. 
pastors, can you enlighten us what this verse is telling us? Pastor Gilbert? Uh, thank you po, Pastor Abby, for that question. Let me read again po yung Matthew chapter 7, verse 14, and it says, For the narrow gate, for the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Ito pong verse po na ito, it tells us that the narrow pathway is difficult. It is difficult for many reasons. One, we will always battle sin. We will fight against ungodly attitudes and actions. So we must declare war against our body as we pluck out our eye and cut off our arm. Metaphorically, sinabi po yan sa Matthew chapter 5, verse 29 to 30. Mm -hmm. Following Christ is a call to be perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect. But this fight against sin is not only to conquer our own sin, but to help others conquer sin as well. Makikita po natin sa Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 to 6, Christ calls for His disciples to help others to take the specks or splinters out of their eyes. This ministry is marked with a lot of pain and frustrations, both at ourselves and others when failing in the battle with sin. Pain also comes as others become angry at us because of our ministry to them. As mentioned, the narrow pathway is also difficult because of the hate and persecution we will commonly experience. In the last beatitude na sinabi po ng ating Panginoong Jesus in Matthew chapter 5, verse 10, Christ said that kingdom citizens will be persecuted because of righteousness. They will be persecuted because of their moral beliefs. Those on the broad path hate any restrictions that hinder their comfort to teach that adultery, abortion, or homosexuality is a sin will cause an uproar in many societies around the world. But also, simply because one chooses to not participate in acceptable sins like sex before marriage, drunkenness, and we will experience mockery sa mga believers. It is a difficult pathway like Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, all who want to live godly lives in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. The broad road is easy, but the narrow way is very difficult. Mm. Yun po, Pastor Ami. Yes, thank you, Pastor, for that uh, good insight. Truly, that uh, the narrow way is very difficult because uh, mm -hmm. it uh, includes denying yourself, right? Yes, mm -hmm. Paul. Amen. Praise God. So, Pastor Kaloy, do you have anything to add with it? Yes. Um, in Matthew 7, 14, the right context to this is that Christ thought that we are not to expect a majority of people to follow him on the road that leads to life. Uh, we could uh, find that even in uh, uh, John chapter 6, that many disciples left him because He's been thinking something very, very hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it will not, they will not uh, follow because of that. One. It's hard. Who can follow this? Sabi nga nila eh. mm -hmm. who, can, uh, who can do this? Comparatively, mm -hmm. only a few will enter the humble gate through repentance, denying themselves to follow Jesus sincerely, endeavor to obey his commands, earnestly seek his kingdom, and righteousness and persevere until the end so jesus disciples will experience persecutions and opposition to one's faith this is a burden that the true christian will experience yeah mm -hmm. yeah the narrow gate leads to life and life 
that we have in Christ is living in righteousness, di po ba? Mm -hmm. Kaya, kaya talagang mahirap kasi pag nabuhay tayo, namumuhay tayo sa katotohanan at uh, marami po sa atin yung uh, mahirap pang i-give up yung mga dating kinagisnan o kinalakihan po nating mga ugali, no? Kaya napakahirap. But I believe that God will help us. So in this verse, it is clear that the way that leads to life is hard. Dahil lang sumunod kay Kristo ay kailangan nating magpasakop sa Kanya. At kung mm. ano ang nais niya sa buhay po natin. No? At yun ang mahirap dahil sanay tayo na ang kalooban natin ang nasusunod. Di po ba? Yung mm. ako, ako, ako. Kaya mm -hmm. nagsak. Sabi nga kailang ibagsak natin ang ating sarili. Ako mismo ay bagsak mo. <laughs> no? So yung mga nakaugalian nating ginagawa na taliwa sa kalooban ng ating Panginoon ay mahirap i-give up. Kaya nga ang sabi ng Matthew 16.24 Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. So when Jesus said earlier that the path to life was narrow and difficult, mm -hmm. he was speaking of how the unbelieving world sees the Christian life. So to them, it means mm -hmm. giving up earthly pleasures and taking on things like persecution. In mm -hmm. uh, It says in John chapter 16, verse 33. Kaya napak, napakahirap no? kung sa sarili lang talaga natin, mahirap talaga ang uh, Christian life. And again, uh, I'm not discouraging those people who wanted to follow Christ. <laughs> no? <laughs> Because we are, just, uh, we are just talking no? what the Bible says. Kasi ang, Christ ang Christiano Buhay Kristiyano ay hindi puro sarap. Di po ba? Mm -hmm. Hindi yan puro sarap. Sabi nga, uh, Christian life is not like uh, a bed of roses. Remember, sabi nga po, yung roses may tinik din. At kapag na, nahiga ka sa, may, sa rose na may tinik, masasaktan ka rin. So, ganun po yun. <laughs> no? Ganun po, ang, pag, ang Kristiyano ay talagang may kasamang sakit at dusa. Pero ang masarap ay may pangako ang Diyos sa atin. Amen? Amen. Amen. So now let us also talk about Matthew 11.30. It says, For mm -hmm. my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Ano naman po sinasabi ng verse na ito, mga pastors? So, okay. Pastor Gilbert, mauna ka ulit. <laughs> Sige po. Thank you po, Pastor Anne. Po. Let me read again po, Matthew 11.30, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. At ang sinasabi po ng ating Panginoon dito, Take my yoke and learn from me. But if what He promises us is rest, why does He tells us to put on His yoke? A yoke is placed on a, be on a beast of burden in order to do some work. Is Jesus offering us rest or work? That is precisely the question Jesus wants us to ask. What work must we do for Him that supposedly will give us rest? Makikita po natin sa John chapter 6, verse 29. This is the work of God that you believe in Him who He has sent. And He said it in John chapter 15, verse 4. Abide in me like a branch in a vine. Believe and abide. That really is all the work God requires of us. Faith, believing and abiding is resting on the hopeful promises of God. That is the yoke Jesus calls us to put on. And what is happening here is a yoke exchange. In the cross, Jesus takes our inconceivably and unbearably heavy yokes of sin, condemnation, and penalty and offers us in exchange the easy yoke and light burden of simply trusting Him. 
He does all the work and gives us all the rest. And His work not only fully addresses our sin problem, but also provides the supply of every other need we will ever have. Katulad po ng sinabi ni Pablo sa Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Mm-hmm. All we are required to do is trust Him. Magtiwala po tayo ng lubusan sa ating Panginoon. And if that wasn't enough, in becoming human and dwelling among us, Jesus makes it possible for us to learn from Him how to live by faith. That's why the author of Hebrews tells us to, sa Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, ang sabi po doon, Look to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Mm-hmm. Believe, abide, and follow in His steps. That's the light yoke Jesus calls us to put on. It is the only yoke in existence that gives us rest for our soul. Yun po, Pastora Ami. Thank you, Pastor Gilbert. Pastor Kaloy, anything to add? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I know, Pastor, well, uh, I was listening to Pastor Gilbert. Medyo na may mesmerize ako sa sa kanyang explanation tungkol diyan, ano? Na, 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 you know, believer ka man o non uh, believer ka man o non believer, lahat tayo, lahat ng tao daranas ng paghihirap. Yes, po. Di mas paganda na lang na kwa na, 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 na Kristo ka because kung nakikristo ka, may katulong ka. Mm-hmm. Eh, Amen. eh, yung mga walang kristo, sige nga, lahat mm-hmm. ng tao daranas. Bakit itong COVID-19? Mm-hmm. Ano nangyak? Lahat tinamaan. Yung man, lahat mm-hmm. na experience. Hindi man lang tinamaan. Kung hindi ka naman nagkasakit, pero yung pag-aalala ka na magkasakit ka, naranasan ng lahat ng tao yung O. Oh. Eh, kuhan. So, Uh, we are all equal. The, the rain pours down on us. Equal lahat. Yung kwanitan. So, for me, if you are in Christ, sa Matthew 11, 28 to 30, it says, Come to me, come unto me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Amen. Wow! He now frees you from your insurmountable burdens of the opposition. Yeah. Huh? Mm-hmm. and gives rest and peace plus assurance of His help to lead you through life. Amen. What trial and cares you carry will be born with His help and grace. <laughs> sarap, sarap dito. In Hebrews 4.16, it says, let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy. Yung unbeliever ba may mercy? Siguro. Siguro baka nadamay lang dahil may mercy siya sa kabahay niya na believer na damay tuloy siya. Pwede gano'n. But actually, we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Taking the yoke, Jesus is just like asking him now how to overcome, or how he overcame his struggles. Nabubuyoy tuloy ako. <laughs> ano sa... <laughs> and taking it as an example to overcome ours because pinagdaanan niya eh siya nga Diyos pinagdaanan niya kita niya so that through his help we will find out that it is easy and the burden is just light Amen Alright mm-hmm. Hallelujah Thank you pastors Thank you. for that the uh, Very insightful ideas that you have shared about these verses. So mm-hmm. it says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So Jesus mm-hmm. told us that the way to heaven is hard in Matthew 7, 14. But mm-hmm. how does he now tell us his yoke is easy and his burden light? Well, mm-hmm. according to... Matthew Paul's commentary, it is easy considering that we do it not in our own strength, but by the assistance from God. Mm -hmm. 
It is also easy as we are by the love of God constrain us to our to do our duty. So we are freed from the strictness of the law. It is easy and light as it is a course of life highly consonant to our mm. once Amen. delivered from a bondage to passion. So mm -hmm. I believe without going back to Matthew 11, 28, Mm -hmm. until verse 30 when it mm -hmm. says come to me those who are heavy laden or heavy mm -hmm. burden so those mm -hmm. burdens that we have mm -hmm. god is inviting us or jesus is inviting us to come mm -hmm. to him Amen. so then so that we can have rest mm -hmm. why because he's saying that his yoke is easy Mm -hmm. So every time that we are having trouble with all those burdens in life, mm -hmm. God's mm -hmm. invitation for us is available so mm -hmm. we can come to him. That's right. That's and he right. will make our burdens light and we mm -hmm. will travel lightly in this mm -hmm. life that is full of difficulty. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. So now that we have talked about these verses, let me ask you this question. What do you think about the expectation of unbelievers of a Christian life? So anyone can answer this question. Pastor Gilbert, do you have anything to say? Yes po, Pastor Ami. Sa mga nakausap ko po, ang sabi po nila, it is hard. Mahirap daw po. Kasi po, because you need to give up so many things, marami kang kailangang i-give up. Especially the things that makes you happy. It seems that you need to give up your happiness. Kaya talagang sinasabi nila na mahirap. Kasi hindi na nila magagawa yung magpapasaya sa kanila. May mm. nagsabi din po na mahirap kasi it will cost you so much. Kawawalan mm -hmm. ka ng kaibigan. Yun, iiwasan ka ng mga kaibigan mo. And you will lose your freedom mm. to do what you want. You must need to live with biblical rules. Kaya sila sabi po nila sigurong mahirap kasi nga ayaw nilang uh, matali o makulong sa is, sa mga rules. Yun, mm -hmm. yun po, Pastor Ami. Amen. Tama ang sinabi mo, Pastor Gilbert. Kaya mm -hmm. pag nag-share ka sa mga unbelievers, nasabihin mm -hmm. po nila, ang daming bawal pag kristyano ka. <laughs> Kaya nga ayaw nilang mabali ang kagustuhan nila. Ayaw nilang mapakialaman sa kanilang mga ginagawa. Di po ba? Kasi kapag yes, po. tayo po mga Kristiyano, we are expected mm -hmm. to follow and obey Christ. Di po ba? Kasi yun yung yes, tunay po. na uh, tinatawag na Christian life. Pag sinabing Christian life, mamuhay tayo ayon sa pamantayan ng ating pong Panginoong Yesus. Di po ba? At mm -hmm. kapag hindi tayo sumunod doon, so hindi tayo masasabing uh, tayo yung mm -hmm. mga Kristiyano. Kundi, ang sarili nating batas ang ating sinusunod no so kaya but uh, i believe that uh, tama ang, ang sinabi mo pastor no ang mga <laughs> unbelievers ay talagang uh, they're so so much uh, mm -hmm. yung observant of uh, what we are doing mm -hmm. and i believe na yung mga bagay minsan na naobserbahan po nila na na bago sa buhay po natin at yun minsan ang ayaw nilang mangyari sa kanilang mga buhay. No? E kasi mm -hmm. kaya niyan kapag ka umiinom. E pagka nagka-Kristiyano ka, sabi na, ay bawal na uminom. <laughs> <laughs> bawal na manigarilyo. Bawal magsugal. Bawal mm -hmm. magbabae. Mm -hmm. no? Actually, sabi nga, sa Bible naman, wala namang sinabing bawal. No? Kumbaga, mm -hmm. uh, only ga, uh, yung mga Mm -hmm. mga may sinabi po sa Bible that everything is permissible, permissible. but not yes. everything is beneficial. beneficial. So, yung mga bagay na uh, mm. mga bagay na beneficial mm. sa atin, yun yung ah. nais ng Panginoon na mangyari sa buhay po natin. Amen, Amen. po. So, Amen. praise God. So, But I'm going to ask this follow-up question, Pastor Gilbert. What is your expectation of a Christian life personally? 
<laughs> Thank you po, Pastor Ami, for that wonderful question. At uh, napakaganda po ng tanong po ninyo dahil uh, binalikan ko yung journey ko po as a Christian. And personally, my view of Christian life is about knowing God, ang pagkakilala sa ating Diyos. Knowing God is not just knowing by name, but having an intimate relationship with him. Katulad po ng sinabi po ni Pablo sa Philippians chapter 3 verse 7 to 8, he said, "But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. Our life here on earth is a journey, and at the end of that journey is when we find ourselves satisfied with Christ and enjoy Him forever. Amen. Yun po, Pastora Ami, ang aking pong pananaw sa buhay krisyano, ang pagkakilala sa Diyos. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for sharing your expectation uh, with uh, us and with all the viewers. So at least we know. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Pastor Kaloy, uh, this is what I ask from you what are you mm-hmm. hearing as well from the unbelievers of what is uh, what is their expectation also of a christian life have you heard uh, someone yeah uh, yung sinabi nila actually yung ano, no, some of them they say it is hard mm-hmm. and that some of them they say it is easy actually mm-hmm. they say it's mas madali na sa inyo because you, know, you do not fast for 30 days like we do you do not do yoga that we do yung mga but we do you do not uh, do just like we do mas mahi sa amin eh kaya nga mm-hmm. ang uh, ang kwanda na no, iba't iba yung mm-hmm. yung kanilang pananaw when it comes to the christian life pero yung sa akin kasi yung pananaw ko is a little bit uh, complicated because uh kwan, ano, for me my expectation when I dedicated my life to the Lord mm-hmm. is to serve him yun lang yung kwan ko eh. yung nangyari sa akin because mm-hmm. if we fully serve our families by providing for them food clothing and shelter then my expectation to serve God is in a much higher level than them. Mm-hmm. Ang, ang kwan kasi, kaya sinabi kong complicated, nung nag-join ako ng and attended services sa Assemblies of God Church namin sa Pilipinas mm-hmm. for about a year without being born again. Respect that? And I saw how the other believers live their lives. I saw their flaws and their weaknesses. Mm-hmm. I saw them also rely on God's grace and that despite of their imperfectness in their struggles to please their Lord and Master, um, they still continue to serve the Lord. Mm-hmm. So because of that, after a year, I decided to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And it was a hard transition because I didn't. Yung matatawag dito na I didn't really expect it to be hard or for it to become like a bed of roses. Yun ang nangyari sa akin naman. So talagang iba-iba ang expectation ng bawat isa sa atin. Ano po? Amen. So talagang makita natin na different people has different opinion when it comes to Christian life based on their relationship in Christ. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yun po, at maging yung mga unbelievers ay iba din yung kanilang opinion or iba din yung kanilang expectation. Kaya, mm-hmm. but based on your expectation, so my question now is, is Christian life easy or hard? <laughs> Ayan. Kailangan sagotin natin yan para marinig ng mga viewers natin na <laughs> Na talagang ano ano. Sige po Pastor Gilbert. Sige po pas uh, Pastor Ami, medyo challenging po ang inyo pong ano. <laughs> <laughs> Is Christian life easy or hard? Yan. para po sa akin, 
Christian life would be hard if you live by your own strength. Just by thinking about all your problems in a day, napakahirap pa po nun. Yung talagang iisipin mo lang sa uh, buong araw mo, puro problema. Talagang masasabi mong mahirap. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga po sinabi po sa Galatians chapter 3, verse 11, ang sabi po ni Pablo, Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. Ang mga uh, ginawang matuwid ng ating Panginoon ay dapat mamuhay sa pananampalataya. The Christian life is supposed to be a life lived by faith. It is by faith that we enter into the Christian life. And it is by faith that we live it out. When we begin the Christian life by coming to Christ for forgiveness of sin, we understand that what we seek cannot be obtained by any other means rather than by faith. We cannot work our way to heaven because nothing we could we could ever do would be sufficient. In a man's point of view, it could be hard since the Christian life is also supposed to be of death to self in order to live a life of faith. Kaya nga po yun siguro yung pananaw ng mga unbelievers kasi nga talagang death to self. Mm. Kailangang mamatay ang makamundong pamumuhay sa atin pong mga buhay. Kaya ang sinabi po ni Pablo sa Galatians chapter 2, Verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Being crucified with Christ means that we consider our old nature as having been nailed to the cross and we choose to live in the new nature, which is Christ yung nature po ni Christ. He who loved us and died for us now lives in us. Ito pong namatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo na nagbahal po sa atin at namatay para sa atin. Siya ngayon po yung namumuhay sa atin. And the life we live is by faith in Him. Living the Christian life means sacrificing our own desires, ambitions, and glories and replacing them with those of Christ. We can only do this by His power sa pamamagitan po ng kapangyarihan ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa pananampalataya na nagbibigay po sa atin ng Kanyang biyaya. Kaya nga po, uh, mahirap kung wala po tayo kay Kristo at nakakaya po natin, napagtatanggumpayan po natin, hindi dahil sa ating sariling lakas, kundi sa pamamagitan po ng kalakasan ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Yun po, Pastor Ami. So, base sa aking narinig <laughs> na iyong sinabi, I believe that uh, you are saying that Christian life is easy mm-hmm. if we have Christ. Amen. And Christian life is also hard <laughs> Right? If we are just doing it on our own. Right? Um, po. Yes, po. And of course, we live this life you know, not according to our own will anymore, but according mm-hmm. to God's will. And when we do that, talagang mahirap kasi mahirap i-give up yung ating mm-hmm. kalooban at saka kagustuhan. Di po ba? Mm-hmm. Praise God. So, Pastor Kaloy, I will ask you also the same question. So, is Christian life easy or hard? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I would say that in the beginning of your Christian walk, it's easy. Because it's just like a baby who is just content. Mm-hmm. Playing, sleeping, and eating and just Christ when they needed something. Or they are hurt. So, yung full attention ng parents na sa kanila, ganun din ang Panginoon. His full attention is on you. So, same thing with the baby Christian. Mm-hmm. God, of course, treats us as such. This is where you're being cuddled. He mm-hmm. answers all your prayers. Tarap, tarap na, right? But as months and years go by, well, 
the Christian life is basically starting to get harder and harder. <laughs> Why? Because if there is an action, there will be a reaction. Meaning, you now try your best to serve our Lord. You now will experience opposition from the enemy. So if you try to pray and attend service, to listen or to even read the scripture, mm -hmm. Satan or his minions will get you to fall asleep. He will try to, you know, do things. He will try to, and if you try to witness to your friend, your enemy will bring maybe other friends to oppose or he will create situations just like a phone call for you or for the one you are witnessing to. Or Satan will create diversions and distractions just as you will not be able to share your faith. Yun na yung opposition. Remember in John 10.10 10, that the enemy comes only to steal, to kill, and destroy. That is all he does. And mm -hmm. for you all that for all that for those who suddenly don't experience persecution or opposition mm -hmm. from the enemy, it's maybe because you are now in conformity with the world that the devil is not threatened by you anymore and that means you are now compromising your faith. So, ang mangyayari niyan is that yung, ano, ano, yung, ay, wala namang kwentang Christian yan. Kasi, mm -hmm. hindi mo lang natitreten ang aking kingdom. But, uh, brothers and sisters, we Christians should be a threat to Satan's kingdom, isn't it right? We mm -hmm. must be threats. Mm -hmm. Dahil matindi ka yung wala, pag-ising mo pa lang eh, magtatakbuhan ng mga demonyo, ganun bang nangyari? Baka naman yung panuko eh, pards, sasabihin tayo ng demonyo. Or, mga, <laughs> oh, eh, gising ng aking favorite, na ko, oh, delikado yun. Don't mm -hmm. do that. So, if, it, if life is... If your Christian life is hard, the opposition. And take it that way, brothers and sisters. If you are opposed, then you are growing in your faith. That is my take on that one, Pastor Ari. Amen. Praise God. So, yes, I'm hearing that uh, a Christian life is easy and at the same time it's hard because, yes, mm -hmm. as we are committed to follow Christ. There's, uh, there are many oppositions na nangyayari sa ating pong paligid and we, and uh, Christians are following Christ and the world is, uh, you know, against us. Yun po, talagang mahirap. So for me, I believe that Christian life is hard and at the same time easy as well. Why? Mm -hmm. It is hard because Christianity involves surrender and obedience. Man. Surrendering your life to Jesus is giving up your own rights for the will mm. of God. Christianity is about identifying with Christ. So if Christ suffered, we suffered with him. Mm. So Christianity is about dying self. So the life of Christ will flourish in us, right? Mm -hmm. Mm. Things that the flesh desires must be subdued in order that the desire of the spirit will develop in us. So on the other hand, I can say Christian life is easy because Jesus is with us. Mm. He promised that he will always be with us in times of sorrow, suffering, sickness, mm. and hardships, and even in our sacrifices, mm -hmm. Jesus is with us. Amen. He sent his spirit to be alongside with us, to help us, right? Mm -hmm. So Christian Amen. life of a believer is easy in that it brings rest for our souls. It's Ooh. in Matthew eleven twenty nine, But it mm -hmm. is hard mm -hmm. on the flesh which often needs the uh, disciplining hand of God to keep us all in line mm -hmm. to his will. That's mm -hmm. why Matthew 7, 14 says, for, that, for the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. 
and those who find it are few. We may encounter hardships in life as we follow Christ, but the comfort of God's word in Matthew 11 to uh, Matthew 11, 29 to 30 is enough for us. Come to him and you will find rest to your soul. For his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So any additional thought before we end, Pastor Gilbert? Yes po, Pastora Ami. Balikan ko lang po yung sinabi po ninyong verse, eh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 14. Mm. Ang sabi po doon, For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are few. Mm. Sinabi po doon na ang narrow gate, itong way na to is, is hard, but this narrow pathway leads to life. Mm. Don't be difficult, this pathway leads to life. In fact, to enter, it is to experience new life. Ang sabi po ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa John chapter 17, verse 3, This is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ. Kingdom citizens, though hated and mocked by the world, have a greater quality of life because of intimacy with God. There can be peace in the midst of a storm. Amen. Joy in the midst of hardship. Yes. Ang sabi pa po ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa John chapter 10, verse 10, I came that you may have life and life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. In fact, as we walk with Christ, we will find this difficult path easy to follow. Dahil ang sabi po ng ating Panginoong Yesus sa Matthew chapter 28, verse 30, Katulad din po ng sinabi po ni Pastora Ami, as I repeat po, Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke on you and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and my load is not hard to carry. Amen. Ultimately po, those who follow this narrow path will spend eternity in the heavenly kingdom. They will rule with Christ on this earth. Yun po, Pastora Ami. Thank you, Pastor Gilbert. Napakaganda po ang inyong mm. sinabi. And I hope the viewers are learning so much uh, about this topic. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, as we... Come to an end, praise God. We have come to the conclusion of our discussion mm -hmm. and I hope and pray that the viewers have learned something from this mm -hmm. discussion. But before we end, I would like to ask our pastors for their final thought before we pray. Pastor Gilbert. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa bawat isa na nakasaba pa po namin kayo until this point. Lagi po nating alalahanin, Jesus gave, uh, gave only two choices. Mm -hmm. There is no third alternative. You can travel the easy road where nearly everyone is traveling. It is unrestricted. No room for, there is a room for every opinion, doctrine, and practice. You can do whatever comes naturally. Mm -hmm. Be a lover of self. Enjoy the pleasures of sin. There is no need of learning of the true religion or practicing it. But rest assured and remember, this way leads to destruction, eternal damnation. Yung walang hanggang pagkawalay sa Diyos. Or you can travel the other road where there are only a few. This way is strict and difficult, setting before us great challenges its boundaries are ordained by divine revelation, the way of truth. It requires sacrifice, self-denial, and obedience. But, but rest assured, this way leads to eternal life. Ang buhay na kasama ang Diyos. Jesus is encouraging us to travel it. Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is life. By the grace of God, May God help us to travel this narrow way which leads to life. Yun po. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Gilbert. Pastor Kaloy, do you have any final thought? 
Yes, and uh, I would like to read uh, some of the verses na panano dito sa Luke 9, uh, 50 uh, to 62. Uh, it would be uh, yung panano, in order to be able to uh, you know mm-hmm. enter the narrow gate, you have to first, itong verse na ito, Jesus replied, Foxes mm-hmm. have holes and birds of the air have no net have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Mm-hmm. He submitted all his rights. In order to enter that narrow road, you have to submit all your rights. Surrender all your rights. Man. And then, uh, so uh, verse 59, it says here, na, kwan, ano, sa Luke 9, 59 ito, he said to another man, follow me, but the man replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. Submission or uh, surrendering of your reasoning. Mm-hmm. Ayan. <laughs> yung mga reasoning na kung minsan ang dami natin taloso. Mm-hmm. Ano? Di dapat. Alright. In the 960 naman, Jesus said to him, uh, dito kasi, let me go bury your father. Sabi niya, ano? Mm-hmm. He said to him, let the dead bury their own dead, but you go mm-hmm. and proclaim the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. All right, dito sa verse 61, still another said, I will follow you. Pero ino, kung susundan mo to Jesus Christ, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Binanggit dito yung mm-hmm. sub, uh, submission or surrender mm-hmm. of your relationship. The surrender dapat pati relationship. Ang dati mong isusurrender in order to enter that narrow path. You see? And then yung last one, Jesus replied, no one who puts his hands to the plow and looks back is fit for the service in the kingdom of God. Submission or surrender of your resources. Ayan, ano? Yung lahat ng binanggit namin ni na Pastor Gilbert Kahit sa ang anggulo mo tingnan, ito po yung bagsak. In order to be able to enter that narrow gate, you have to do all of these things. Mahira, but with the help of God, again, with the help of God, we can do it. Just deny yourself. That's one of my final thoughts. Amen. Pastor? Thank you, pastors, for your uh, word that uh, you have shared for the word of God that we have shared and I hope and pray that the viewers have learned something from our discussion so yes we can connect this verse they are related to one another because mm. life is hard as, as, as a Christian mm. we can take the yoke of Jesus to become easy for us we can travel light in a broad or in a narrow uh, in the narrow way as we continue to follow Christ. Mm-hmm. Christian Amen. life is following Christ. Amen. When we follow Christ, we need to give up the right to ourselves mm. and let Christ be the one who will rule over us. Mm. Let him be the master and Lord of our lives. Amen. 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 Praise God. So, Praise God. yes, we give glory and honor Amen. to our God. Praise his holy name. Tonight, before we end, our pastors will be praying mm-hmm. for you. So, Pastor mm-hmm. Kaloy will pray for those that are having a hard time in their Christian walk, and Pastor Gilbert will be praying for the needs of God's people, and I will just close in prayer. So, Pastor Kaloy, you, you can start praying. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you because, Father, you are there to help us Amen. in time of our hardships. Mm-hmm. Father God, we just want to glorify and magnify your name because, Lord, you are a faithful God in spite 
of our unfaithfulness, yet you remain faithful, Lord. Amen. And so tonight, this morning in the Philippines, we ask for the power of your Spirit to help us, Lord. Yes. Sometimes Amen. it's really hard. It's really hard to follow you. But Father God, You said it also in your words that he who will endure to the end will be saved. And Lord, gusto po namin maligtas, Panginoon. We Amen. want to enter, Lord God, in spite of it being narrow, we want to enter that narrow gate because we want to stay with you and be with you forever. And, uh, and so, Father God, we pray for your help upon your people. Lord, in, in the times, Lord, when they are hard up, be their strength, Lord. In times, Lord, that when they feel that they can't go on, Lord, be their comfort. Yes, okay. In the times, Lord God, that uh, they think, Lord, about quitting, then Lord, remind them of your faithfulness. Amen. And so, Lord God, we thank you and we pray for God's people, those who are hardest, Lord God, in their walk with you. We dedicate them right now to your hands. Amen. We thank you. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Lord, patuloy po kaming lumalapit sa iyo. Mm. Alam po namin na hindi lingid sa iyo ang mga pangangailangan ng iyong mga anak. Sa amin pong mga viewers, maging mm. sa members ng JRAM, at maging sa lahat ng nakakapanood ng programa ito. Lord, you know our needs. At marami pong salamat nga sa iyong pangako sa Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 that you will supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Kaya nga naman Panginoon, ipinagkakatiwala po namin sa iyo ang amin pong buhay at ang amin pong lahat ng aming pangangailangan. Alam po namin ipagkakaloob mo ang lahat ng mga bagay na makakabuti para sa amin Panginoon, para sa iyong kaluwalhatian. At tunay nga, O Diyos, sino man ang nangangailangan ng kagalingan, salamat sa kagalingan, salamat sa patuloy na uh, pagpapagaling, pag-iingat, Panginoon, pagre-restore, Panginoon, sa bawat isang katawang ng hina, Panginoon, ayon sa iyong biyaya, ayon sa iyong habag, Panginoon. Salamat nga po, O Diyos, pinagkakatiwala din po namin sa iyo ang mga pangangailangan ng iyong mga anak. Meron pong nawala ng trabaho, meron pong nalugi ang negosyo in this time of pandemic. Lord, we, we come to you and we pray, Father, for your providence, Lord, sa buhay ng bawat isa, Panginoon. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, sa pangalan ni Jesus. At tunay nga, O Diyos, salamat dahil patuloy mo pong pinapatunayan na ikaw ang aming mabuting pastol. Psalm chapter 23, verse 1, you are our shepherd and we have everything. Patuloy naming mararanasan ang kabusugan, ang satisfaction na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Kami lubos na nagtitiwala sa iyo at salamat na lang pangako mo. Hindi mo kami iiwan, hindi, kami, hindi mo kami pababayaan. No one can take us out of your hand, Panginoon. Ganun po kasigurado, ganun po kasecured ang buhay ng bawat isa sa amin sa sino mang nagtitiwala sa iyo, Panginoon. Those who are in Christ. We bring back to you all the glory, honor, and praise. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us, for helping us, mm. and allowing us, Lord, to explore your very word. I Amen. pray that the word that we have heard tonight will continuously be planted in our hearts that we may be Lord God to... Uh, learn more about you. Lord, salamat mm-hmm. Panginoon dahil tunay nga po na napakasarap at, at uh, napakaganda na pagbulay-bulayan ng iyong salita at uh, salamat Panginoon dahil muli niyo po kaming tinuruan. Lord, mm-hmm. continuously and trust everything unto you to all the viewers oh god i pray that uh, your blessing your favor and uh, your presence will continuously be upon us all and uh, as we end this program oh god may you be with us may you guide us and continue oh lord to lead us along the way as we uh, walk this journey of christian life lord May we continue to abide and obey 
thy command in our lives. At hayaan mo, Panginoon, na sa aming pong pagsunod ay naroon ka lagi na handang tumulong sa aming pong uh, paglakad. Salamat o Diyos at sa iyo namin pinagkakatiwala ang lahat. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 So I'd like to thank Pastor Gilbert and Pastor Kaloy for their insightful contributions to our discussion for tonight. So we certainly learn a lot from you both, Pastor. So salamat at hanggang sa muli, mga kapastoran. So to all the viewers as well, thank you for joining us on our XYC episode where we see Christ in all our ways. So mm-hmm. I am Pastor Ami, your host for Jeram Central tonight. And uh, Pastor Kaloy and Pastor Gilbert just say uh, goodbye to all our viewers. Uh, yeah. Bless you all for... Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So God bless everyone. Until next time. See you all.